Hi guys, so today we're going to be creating this beautiful animated carousel using Figma. If you're new to my channel, ensure you hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and leave a comment in the video so in the uh, leave your questions in the comment section if you have any questions, and I'll be sure to answer them. So guys, without further delays, let's get started on how to create this beautiful animated carousel on Figma. <music> So without further delays, let's just get started. So um, what we have right here, this is the screen. And um, you see this piece here, this is where I'll be putting the animated carousel. So um, I already have this minimal design. It's one app that I'm currently building. So I'm sure you have yours in case you want to practice along. Um, all right, so um, the carousel, I already designed mine, so I will recommend you pause this video right now and design yours so you can just use the, the simple picture, a rectangle just for practice purposes, but I already designed mine, so I'm just going to bring it in. So let me just go to my Fire Explorer, go to my downloads, and um, you can see them here. I designed everything using Figma, so I'm just going to import the three carousels that I'll need. I'll just drag them into my workspace. So these are the things that I'll be putting here. They are, as you can see, they are images. So um, I'm going to name them for proper documentation. So I'll name this image one because naming is very important in interaction design. If you don't name them properly, no matter how you do it, it the interaction will not work. So this will be image two. And this will be image three. All right. So um, this is everything. These are the images. But right now you can see they are they are packed together. So I'm going to increase. You see the space in between items is currently set at zero. So I'll space the little to let's say ten. All right. So um, the next thing you need to do if if you check the design. If you check the design and uh, if I turn on the grid, you see that there's a grid style that is already set. And if I were to bring this in right now, align it to the center, you see that it fits perfectly with the grid. So uh, I will recommend you also do this so you don't just align your items randomly. All right. So let's get started on the interaction design. So um, what I will do is to create a new page for components. So let's rename this to design and uh, let's create a new page and we'll name it components. All right, so that our workspace will be clean. So I'm going to cut this and I'm going to take it to the components page and paste it in here. All right, so the next thing we'll do is um, I'm going to add a frame to these three images. So to do that, I can either press Ctrl Shift G or I can right click on everything and say frame selection, Ctrl or G rather. So you see that Ctrl or G for frame selection. So this is a frame. And now this is the first frame. We are going to duplicate this. So I'll hold my Alt key and click and drag this out. And I'll make sure it's spaced as much as possible. All right. So since we are having three images, we we'll need three frames. If you are, if you want ten images, you need ten frames. If you need, if you want hundred images, you want have hundred frames. So since we are having three images, we need three frames: frame one, frame two, and Ctrl D for our frame three. All right. Um. Okay. So let's go back to frame one right here. So this frame one right here. Click on the frame one. Um. The very first character we want to see on this page because the three images can show at one has to be one at a time so the first one that we need to see will be this one which is the frame one this red free transfers so what we'll do is we'll reduce the frame to match just this image and as you can see the others are still showing but in order to hide the others we'll now click on clip content and as you can see only the first image is showing so we'll repeat this step for the other two images, we'll come to frame 2 and uh, we'll make sure that only the second image is showing. We'll reduce this further. Alright, and then we'll click on clip contents. As you can see, only the second one is showing. Let's do the third one.
all right so only the third one will show once we click on clip contents all right so we are good now that we have everything like this let's reduce the spacing between the items to let's say 100 because they are too far apart okay let's make it 100 and um, let's zoom in okay so now that we have the three frames for our three images we we'll have to create a component set so now that we've created a component set we we'll prototype it so we'll click on the first one like this and I'll click and drag it to this one and we'll change the trigger from on click to after delay and we'll set the duration to after three seconds okay let's make it after four seconds no three seconds should do so three seconds and then we we'll change the animation type from instant to smart animate and the smart animate for to ease out okay and then we'll come to the next one we'll do the same thing click and drag to this place and I'll uh, change you from on click to after delay 3 seconds smart animate inherited properties click on the last one click and drag to the first one from on click to after delay and the duration 3 seconds smart animate is out all right so we we'll have we have our carousel set so let's rename the component from this to car russell all right so the next thing we'll do is the we'll design uh, a progress bar to show if we are on the second feature there should be a bar to tell us that is the second one that we are on if you are on the third one we'll know that is the third one that we are on okay so the next thing that we'll do now is to create draw the ellipse to so i'll just go here hold my shift and draw the ellipse to make sure it's 8 by 8 and uh, after drawing it we'll need three of these there are three images but before i do that let me darken the images the color rather let me darken the color further okay so after that i'll duplicate this so i'll just highlight it and um, hold my alt key and drag it out make sure it's properly aligned and then i'll duplicate it to create another copy and then after this i'll highlight everything and i'll add auto layouts so after adding the auto layout i will change the color of the first one from ellis one so I'll change this color to any color that i want to show the steps maybe i'll make it darker all right so after this i'll duplicate this auto layout so I'll hold my alt and duplicate it, frame 2, duplicate it, there are 3 carousels, we need 3 copies. So this one will be the second step, so frame 1 will come to the other side, since it's auto layout, you won't have to worry about the positioning. And then uh, we'll go to frame 3, frame 1 will change position with frame 3. And uh, frame 2, change position. I think it's okay like this all right so now that we have all these the next thing we we'll need is to highlight everything like this and uh, create a component set so let's create a component set with it and um, let's rename this from component one to slider position slider position and then let's prototype it so we'll come here and uh, we'll click on the first one like this and uh, click and drag it to the second one and uh, we'll change the trigger from on click to after delay and we'll set the duration to 3 seconds. Now the duration here has to match the duration that you used for this carousel. So earlier if you had used 4 seconds for this, this also has to be 4 seconds. If you use 7 seconds for this, this also has to be 7 seconds. So we change this to 3 seconds and I will change the animation type from instant to smart animates and then go to the second one, click and drag it to the third one, change the trigger from on click to after delay and set the delay duration to 3 seconds, smart animate copied 
and then we'll go to the third one as well and uh, drag it to the first one change the trigger from on click to after delay and uh, change the duration to three seconds all right so now that we have everything that we need time to test it if it actually works so we have everything in our assets let's go back to the design your component section can be as rough as it wants it doesn't really matter but your design section should be very neat so um, now that we have this i'm going to go to the asset section i'm going to bring our components okay so let's go to the asset section and bring our components out all right so this is the carousel we'll just click and drag it in here and uh, we'll align it to the center and I'll create a bit of spacing and then let's bring the slider carousel put it in here align it to center as well and uh, let's bring it down a little bit like so all right so now that we've brought it brought out both components let's uh, let's present this to see if it actually works but before we do that uh, I'm going to turn off the grid okay so frame is highlighted and then we'll click on present uh, let's just make sure that our prototype settings is okay so show prototype settings and now uh, you can see device is none so that's not what we want we're going to have to change it to android large because that's the size of my frame all right so let's see the prototype so guys this is what we have created together using interactive components as you can see the sliders and the carousel are moving together and they are both synchronized so thank you so much for watching if you want more of these videos ensure you hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so be notified whenever i upload new videos and if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below see you guys next time